Okay, this screencast is just going to show you how quickly that I can post a newsletter to MailChimp. And so let me get started here. We'll start by just looking at the newsletter itself. Okay, so I've, I've already designed this newsletter and I've also uh, taken the newsletter and put it into HTML because, uh, because I, it makes it easier for me to paste. It. And so you can see the code here in HTML. And what that does is it just gives me, uh, we have a format that we use every week and we can copy that in. It gives me the ability to brand the uh, newsletter in the colors and fonts that I like. And so it makes it real easy and all I do is just paste in the titles and such each week. So once I have this ready, I'm going to go to, to MailChimp. Just a second. I'm going to log in. Create a campaign. And I'm going to select regular old campaign and while it's loading up here it's gonna show you a list of a couple different lists you can put in but I just have a school families list and I update this list as often as I need to and so I'm gonna send this newsletter to the entire list I'm going to name it Weekly Newsletter. You can see it's from November 22nd. And then our newsletter featured an, um, some community service. So um, you could call it Weekly Newsletter featuring, you know, Salvation Army donation or some community service, what it, whatever it is. Uh, but make it specific. And so here's the power of MailChimp. So we go over here. I can add Google Analytics tracking code. I can auto-tweet the campaign. I can post it to Facebook, and I'm going to select my Facebook profile that I want to post it to, because I know a lot of us have personal ones and work ones, so I'm going to send it to the school one, and I'm going to click Next. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can go from here. Um, there's importing from a URL, um, kind of importing a zip file, or what it, whatever form of newsletter you want the way you do it. You can also use one of their pre-designed ones. And, but uh, what I like to do is import from code, like I showed you before. So I'm going to scroll back over to my code, and I'm going to copy all that code and go back to MailChimp, and drop that code right in there. And I'm going to preview the document. You can kind of see our newsletter there. I'm going to import the code. And it takes you to another page and shows you what a plain text one will look like. It's good to have a plain text because some people don't have HTML set up in their email. And so it looks good. So we'll click Next. And kind of shows you the information where they send the email back to them. And go down to the bottom and hit Send Now. And if I hit this right now, our newsletter would be sent. I can also schedule... Uh, when it is to go. So that's how easy uh, it, it is to use MailChimp to deliver a newsletter.